How's it everybody? Um, I quickly want to show you guys a new game that I just downloaded. Um, it's called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Okay. Now basically it's about... Okay. Let's just open this up quickly and let me just mute the sound. So basically it's about you defusing a bomb. Pretty easy if you know what you're doing. But to any other person in the world, it's not so easy. <laughs> Don't be fooled by this easy game. It's really difficult. Um, you'll see now as I explain, I'm just going to do a short gameplay version of this. So basically you'll have your friend playing with you. Okay, he'll be on his computer or cell phone or Xbox or whatever you want to play with. Okay, as long as it has access to the internet. Okay, your friend would be the guy reading through the manual that he needs to get on the internet. Okay, and he'll explain to you how to defuse this bomb. The only way he can do that is if you tell him what's what you're actually seeing on your screen now the key is your friends not allowed to look on your screen and you are not allowed to look at the manual okay otherwise it's a pretty boring game you don't want to do it like that trust me um, play against a friend it makes the game a lot more fun and it's also a bit more intense because now you've got two people you know getting sucked and everything so it's a really good thing to play with your friend okay so obviously I'm not going to play against a friend now so I'm going to cheat a bit and uh, show you guys the manual and everything so what you want to do is your friend needs to go and um, go to it's called bombmanual.com okay it gives you the straight manual okay let me show you guys quickly once you open this page Okay. Uh, okay. Let's not do that. Let's um, open the page like that. Bombmanual.com. Okay. You'll see it gives you different options. You can either view, print the PDF, or you can view it as a web page. I'm just going to view uh, as a PDF. Okay. Then it opens it like that. Then you'll see once you scroll down a bit, it tells you which version it is and then also a verification code. Once you start your game the very first time it's going to ask for your manual verif verification code which would be that code. I don't know if it differs but then that's my code. Okay. Then once you scroll down a bit okay, it gives you an introduction on what the bomb looks like, what everything means there, your timer, that type of thing. Okay then you see your modules now modules is something that you actually need to do so your first module would be wires okay now in gameplay you'll see that there is wires and that type of thing that you need to cut I'll do an explanation of that as I'm playing the game just now <clears throat> and then also your buttons and so on and so on okay there's 23 pages so your partner better be a really good reader and really fast <laughs> okay so let's do this okay so in the game you'd be playing this now you'd go into bombs okay it'll give you the tutorial basics then you'll defuse your first bomb okay this is just a practice round okay you can do it over and over again just to see if you're really good at it okay now this is the one that I'm going to play now something old something new now it tells me that I've got five minutes to play this before the bomb explodes. There's three modules, so that means one wires, one digits, and one something else. <laughs> okay, and then of course you've got three strikes. Okay, um, before the bomb actually explodes. Um, as you move on into the game, the difficulty becomes a lot more. So your strikes would be less. That type of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. 
Now your friend would be already sitting in front of his manual. It says that you're not allowed to look at the bomb diffusal manual. Basically that's just for your friend so that you know. Okay. So now the once the light switch is on, you see your timer actually starts down. Okay. You'll hear that annoying sound, that tick. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that. Okay. Now once you click on the bomb, it lifts it up, shows you your first, second and third module, okay? And your timer the whole time. That bar there shows you one strike and second strike, third strike actually explodes. Once you right click your mouse and turn, you can actually have a look at your serial, your battery, you can turn it up, there's another thing of a jig, I don't know what that is. And then that side there's another battery and then a computer port. Okay, and that's the back, which is the bomb. Okay, now let's start with the basic one. Okay, um, I'm still struggling with this one, so I know I'm gonna screw this up. But let's look at this one. This is the symbols. So once you click on that, it gives you four symbols. Okay, now it's a smiley face, well, a C with a dot in it, that thing, and the backward P or something like that. Okay, now your friend would go and look at his manual, scroll down to the actual symbols. Okay, I think that's on the fifth page. No, that's on the seventh page. Okay, now you've got your bars here. Okay, now one bar is one gameplay. Now you need to look at one bar that actually has all four of these symbols. Okay, so let's see there's a smiley, the C with a dot. That cup thing and the P. Okay. Now your friend, that's the symbol you need to try and explain to your friend who has never seen it before. Okay. <clears throat> and then tell him exactly what you see. Okay, now I immediately saw that mine is there. There's the cup thing, the smiley, the C with the dot and the P. Okay. Now you need to do it in order. So memorize it's a cup, smiley, C and the back P. Okay, then you go to the game, that's a cup, smiley, C, and the back P. Shows your green light, light, which means that's done. Next one, click on the button, okay, it says abort. Right there is where your LED should be. Now, once you hold this in, there's a light coming in on there, okay. You hold it in, you see it's a yellow light. Okay, that's one strike because I just lift up my finger. Then I tell my friend, listen, this is the color of the light. He goes to the actual button, which is that. If the button is blue and says a ball, okay, that's not it. No, no. Okay. So we are looking for the one that says a yellow. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing. If the button is yellow, hold the button and refer to releasing the hold button. Scroll down just a little bit. Yellow strip, release when the countdown timer has a 5 in any position. So then I just hold it in. I wait for the timer to say 15 and I leave it. Shows green, done. Then I go to this one. This is a maze which I struggle with. Okay. Um, Basically, you need to get that white dot from there to there, okay? But in between, you'll see there's walls. That's the second strike, which means my timer now is moving even faster, okay? And that means the bomb has exploded now, okay? I told you guys I struggled with that one, <clears throat> okay? It shows you your result, which is exploded. Time remaining was 48 seconds, and the cause of the explosion was the maze, okay? Now, you can either retry, or you can just go back, and then um, play and well take a break <laughs> okay you also get free play which is pretty awesome um, you can actually set your own time okay the more time you put in the easier it comes the estimate difficulty the more modules you put in that's like the wires the symbols and 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 the more you put in you'll see the difficulty bar actually raises your max is 11 okay but once you add more time, it goes easy again, 
once you add less time it actually gets really tough and then of course you can do hardcore mode once you put that it means your first strike will trigger the explosion okay and then you'll need as extra modules that's there but it cannot be disarmed so basically it just poses a, as a recurrent hazard okay and then you just start it which is pretty nice to play okay so yeah guys um get this get this game download it um, play it with your friends and have fun um, you can also print this if you're really that into papers um, personally I don't like papers because I don't read <laughs> um, and yeah oh yeah there's a button there once you click that okay um, you just seem to click your like I do my scroller and then anywhere I move my mouse it actually moves that way just give that tip to your friend if he can read faster in that manner okay and yeah guys um, I'll, I'll save that as a favorite as well okay and that's how it works yeah guys thanks for listening um, have a great one and um, yeah check it out give it a try let me know what you think okay